It's Monday the 24th of June and uh, it's been such a quiet weekend uh, this weekend. Probably my quietest uh, weekend in a long, long time. Um, I've actually got uh, what eight orders on Bricklink um, for just 145 lots. 453 items i did just see a notification come in for another one so let's just see if that is the case or maybe it was just a delayed email uh actually by the look of it but uh so eight orders on bricklink uh on brick owl it's so much worse um just one order on uh brick owl um so you know we talk about how brick owl um some weeks there's so much better than than bricklink and and others um it clearly doesn't um so yeah that one's just a single item 18 lots 60 items uh and then on ebay even we've only got um two orders to go out so all in all the worst weekend sales wise uh i've had in a long long time um and I've got to say that sales overall for me this month and now partly because of the weekend and stuff down about 40% over last month, which was already not a great month. Um, so um, the savings are going to have to be hit hard uh, this month to uh, pay the bills, I think. Uh, and that is the problem with running a store um, as your sole income. Um, you've got to take the rough with the smooth and you've got to make sure that you've got something behind you um, for these slower times. Um, but anyway, um, let's have a look at what is going out today. Um, order here on uh, Bricklink. Um, basic sort of parts orders, as I think most of these are, including this um, plant piece uh, that I listed, which actually had... Quite a few sort of broken stems on the bottom, uh, but I listed, uh, made a comment of that and listed it at a decent price and that sold. Um, there are another parts order here, mostly white items, a uh, small order there. And then uh, we've got a set going out. This is the Catwoman uh, Cat Cycle Chase. Uh, that went for about £17. This was the biggest order. Uh, this is 99 lots. And predominantly, as you can see, a very red and black uh, theme, mix of new and new uh, and used parts. Um, and as I say, that was the, the largest order. Um, some minifig parts included in this one. Um, nothing super special, sort of town related. We've got a little baker's um, uh, torso there as well. Uh, four Spider-Man torsos going out and then uh, little order uh, there that came in actually I've got one more order to print um, which uh, I realize I've picked the parts what literally came in um, sort of 20 minutes ago or so um, uh, we've got on eBay a Minecraft uh, drowned zombie going out and then here we've got three lots of the um, super battle droids and uh, those were for £24 um, and then the order that came in 20 minutes ago was someone who needed some parts sent in to another customer um, because they were they were short on some parts I just needed to print the paperwork to go with that and that is it for the weekend so um, very very slow of course we're in the the peak of summer now um, I would say in fact it's incredibly hot this morning uh, and it's going to be quite hot this week in uh, East Anglia where I am and uh, not looking forward to that uh, heat going to try and stay as cool as possible of course and um, we'll just see what we can do in terms of getting stuff added to the store Got all of these um, bags of parts and things that I've left on the desk from last week so lots of uh, things to look at getting listed and it's just a case of cracking on and uh, doing what you can. It's Monday afternoon and I'm uh, just back from a local pickup. Uh, I managed to pick up a bag of uh, friends' figures and some other bits and pieces in their regular 
mini fig stuff as well, and a bunch of birds there I can see. Um, a few collectible mini figs, maybe. Um, nothing uh, too earth shattering. Um, also, at the same time, I picked up this bunch of uh, uh, animals, horses, and smaller animals as well dogs, squirrels, cats, all that kind of stuff. And then um, a couple of bits of Star Wars things. This is, uh, I think, the Star Wars advent calendar. Um, it looks like it's here pretty much in its entirety, even though it's been built. Um, and then we've got another Star Wars advent calendar, except this time, I think, uh, depending on which way this comes out, it's all, um, second, it's all uh, brand new once you open it, but of course the box isn't sealed. Um, so that's uh, what I wanted to pick up. I'm going to work through uh, this for a little bit, I think. Just sort some of the minifigs and animals out and things and try and get them uh, listed uh, onto the store and uh, see if we can figure out what kind of value we've got. I've been working through the uh, minifigs and the animals and things that I picked up uh, this afternoon uh, that I showed you earlier. Uh, added them all into a brick store file and um, ended up with, and I'm, I'm, I'm not finished yet. I've just done, you know, a, a batch of figures. All of the animals are, are sorted, so there's not many of them. There's tons of friends um mini figs to uh look through mini dolls uh parts etc um in here i've got 207 items 120 lots about 173 pounds worth and i've just uploaded them it's given me another 94 lots and has pushed me up to 14,165. so it's given me a little bit of uh leeway there for um you know any other uh, orders that come in uh, before I dropped below the uh, 14,000. So quite pleased with that. And um, tomorrow we'll plod on and uh, add uh, some more, uh, probably sort through those uh, mini doll parts, uh, try and get them sorted, get them into the store. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. It's Tuesday morning and it's another quiet morning, which means I'm already starting to be able to get some things uh, added to the store. And I've got a bit of a random assortment. Of things on my desk here that uh, um, you know came from that tub last week uh, that I was uh, sorting out and uh, a couple of nice uh, items nice surprises I guess we've got this um, train uh, rail um, which I thought was you know relatively ordinary in black but that's worth about two pound fifty apparently and then uh, this um, cape, um, whatever we want to call it, uh, comes from the large buildable ray uh, figure, which is also coming up over £2, which is, is nice as well. And a couple of other uh, random uh, things to add to the store there, uh, just to get us uh, kicked off and started with adding. Uh, now, in terms of orders today, um, really quiet again. Five orders on uh, Bricklink um, for just 18 items, 72 lots. And then on Brick Owl, one uh, single order. And similarly uh, on eBay, one order as well. Um, we've got them picked, so I might as well show you what we've got uh, while I'm talking to you. Um, so on eBay, we've got a Captain America uh, foil bag going out for uh, eight ninety nine. Uh, then we've got um, uh, the first of the uh, smallish uh, parts orders, uh, just a, a random uh, bunch of parts, nice little printed uh, plank in there. We've got this bag of pearl gold uh, minifig weapons accessories. This is a weird one because I've said that things are small and I've said that, you know, people place orders for small amounts. I don't know if this is just someone watching the channel and testing that because these have been ordered from America. Uh, so these were 2p um, and they're being sent to the US. Um, so it'd be interesting to see what happens there. 
Um, and then um, next order up, we've got 40 of these uh, blue, dark blue trans tiles going out. They were used. And then we've got uh, a long time watcher of the channel um, left a comment on this order. So he's been watching from pretty much the beginning when I started in a totally different space uh, to the one I'm in now. He's ordered a, a Finn minifigure and a, a Astromech Droid R2Q5 and a minifig head there and then a couple of minifig parts going out there. So pretty uh, modest, uh, took um, probably 10, 15 minutes to pick this lot. Um, really uh, easy in terms of picking time. So um, we'll get those packed up and ready for the post office in a short while. Still quite early at the moment. And uh, I'll continue uh, adding some stuff to the store. It's Wednesday morning and uh, we've got uh, just three orders going out. And all of these are on eBay, which means not a single order on Bricklink or Brickal uh, this morning. Uh, or received essentially from yesterday morning after I sent uh, the mail out uh, just before 10 o'clock yesterday morning. So um, it's super hot in the UK, so people probably aren't focused on creating Lego orders. Uh, yesterday was very uncomfortable. It was also the England game uh, yesterday, so maybe people were watching the football, enjoying that, or just enjoying the the heat and uh, you know doing whatever people do um so anyway on uh, ebay we've got this uh, jay and bone hunter tin going out for seven pounds we've got another Rapton figure and, and uh, i sold quite a few of these uh, lately and then we've got a vein uh, minifigure from star wars so for 8.95 uh, which is a good price for that um so uh, i'm gonna get these out and then I crack on. Uh, yesterday, I uh, I didn't do much filming. Um, to be honest, I was sorting through um, all of that friends uh, Lego and stuff. Uh, got a few uh, friends minifigs out of it. Not many. Um, didn't bother too much. The rest of it all went uh, apart from this little one. Uh, went on um, brick store. Uh, I've got a few other things still that add a little pot of hair and a few other bits and pieces but then I need to get on to uh, some uh, more sorting or possibly to these uh, bagged uh, categories and um, I really do need a tidy one. I know I say this constantly and I never ever succeed. It's almost uh, that bad at the moment that I don't want to I don't want to start it but um, there you go. Um, so lots to do and uh, hopefully orders pick up. Isn't it typical that no sooner had uh, I done the previous video than an order came in on uh, Brick Owl. Uh, so we've got a bunch of parts that I'm just picking and uh, rushing to get in with uh, the rest of the post. So um, better get cracking on this one and uh, get it all packed up because I really should be leaving in about four minutes so uh need to get move a move on i'm just sorting through uh minifig still and uh, just came across a little tip because um this um item here um when i picked it up uh, i should have done this um earlier but when i picked it up it had lots of black marker pen on it on the front here and uh, on the inside um and uh, i managed to get rid of it by using some of this. This is uh, isopropyl alcohol. Uh, in this case, 70%. You can get higher grades, 90, etc., that may work even better. Um, but what I would do is I get a, a cotton wool uh, bud, uh, dip it in the isopropyl uh, alcohol, and then just run it over the surface of the black marker pen. And you can see that it's taken out all of the dye from the pen and absorbs it onto the uh, the cotton wool bud. And then I just use the other end uh, just to dry it off. Uh, any remaining sort of wet uh, surface, I would just dry off with the dry end. And then I'll just chuck the uh, cotton wool bud away and everything is uh, pretty good. Obviously, I should have shown you before I did the cleaning but thought I'd share it anyway. 
Well, we have had one order in on uh, Bricklink finally today, uh, and it's a reasonable one. Uh, this is from uh, Brick This, and it's about 50 plus pounds worth of uh, parts in relative bulk, uh, white uh, predominantly, um, one by four bricks. Um, these are good, and um, these you know don't sell too often. Um, and then he bought uh, all that I had in stock. Uh, we've got a bunch of four by six uh, plates and lots of uh, four by four black plates as well and a bunch of used tires. So we'll get these uh, packed up, including the one I just dropped on the floor and uh, we'll uh, get that off in the post this afternoon via dropping it in the drop box at the depot. Well, I've got to say, I'm pretty sick of doing minifig parts uh, right now. Um, I've uh, added another 221 uh, lots of uh, minifig parts to the store. And um, it's about £160 worth or so. Still a lot of mini dollar stuff in here. Um, that has uh, made a lot increase of 177 lots which now takes us to 14,324 lots. Um, but I'm definitely going to be doing something a little bit different tomorrow. I'm, I'm not going to be doing uh, minifig parts at least. Um, and I just need a change and uh, get back to some more uh, basic sorting and basic parts. Doing something a little more unusual now, and that is that I have this... Uh, this box of uh, leaflets, uh, collectible minifigure leaflets. And um, these are all uh, brand new. Uh, they were all taken out of um, either figures that I collected originally or um, I must have parted out or something like that. And I was surprised, I don't know, probably six months ago, I listed a bunch of these. And I was surprised how they sold. Uh, they sold relatively quickly and relatively easily. So um, I thought rather than them just sitting here doing nothing, I might as well uh, get them counted and listed and available for sale. Um, now I also did the same thing with lots of packets, um, but I'm not sure whether the packets are gonna be worth anything. Now as an example, the way that I always um, opened uh, my packets um, was to cut down the seam. So the packets are actually in um, really good condition. They're not snipped across the top or anything. So I wonder if there's value in them even. So I'm going to have to check uh, those out as well. And, you know, it's just some people will say this isn't worth your time. And uh, they may well be right, I, I don't know, but it looks, it's, it look, they're easy enough to count. They're all stacked together. It's not gonna take long, long to list. And um, why not make some money out of them if you can? Right, it's time to get back to more basic parts now. So uh, I've picked up a bag of um, snot tight bricks and I'll sort through some of these, sort them down into the next um, part types, etc. And uh, then we'll see uh, what we get listed from there. Um, not, you know, not doing this for value. I, again, it's really just about getting parts into the store, getting, um, you know, regularly purchased items uh, in there. Um, as you've seen, I've done a lot of minifig stuff this week and I'm a bit fed up with it. So uh, just cracking on with this. And then uh, we'll see what other uh, bags of categories we've got later around. I do have about, uh, this is just one of them, about three bags of tires uh, that I need to do. And I'm just sort of trying to build up the the, um, the interest to do those. Well, tires are one of the categories I, I really don't like very much. Um, but everything has to be done and uh, we'll see uh, when we get around to that. Uh, it might be next week before I tackle that, but um, we'll see. Okay, let's have a look at what we're going out uh, this afternoon, uh, Thursday. And on eBay, we've got a Zane and Nindroid uh, minifig pack going out, followed by a couple of uh, parts orders. 
uh, heading out the door and then uh, we've got an order here for uh, a couple of uh, bro thor figs along with the uh, guitar and, uh, and a little hair piece there a small order for a uh, minifig head and a door and then this is one of the printed things that we've been adding over uh, recent weeks to get the lot counts up uh, it's worth just over a quid uh, so you can see the kind of you know values that we're we're talking about on some of these i think that one's about 50 p's worth um and then uh here uh we've got a another um collectible minifig going out on ebay so a few more orders um going out today um values are still you know pretty uh small in terms of uh order sizes but you know that's probably down to me getting stuff into the store as i keep saying i mean i just don't put much new stuff into the store at all these days and uh it's mostly uh used and there are reasons for that which uh, we will go into at some point um but um uh, that's it uh for today i think and um, we'll get these packed up and get them off to the post office so just throwing another upload up at the end of the day um i've got all of those leaflets that i mentioned earlier and lots of snot bricks etc ended up with about uh a thousand items just over 108 lots um and um the leaflets you know added a little bit of value so not to be dismissed and if we have a look at the store now um let me just check i've refreshed that i think i have we're now at fourteen thousand. 389 lots and i'm pretty sure that's the most lots i've ever had um even though i've had you know 60 70 thousand items more than i've got now um it's definitely the highest lot count i've had um so um possibly a little bit surprising but um uh yeah that's how it works out um We've uh, just hit, uh, just looking at the stats, I don't check these very often, 480 fans, um, 6,500 orders, which is not that many, you know, there's people who've been doing things, even you know, for a shorter length of time than I have, have got maybe more orders, um, but it's about what you're adding to the store, it's about how many orders you really want to try and cope with as well you know so although i'm on about quiet days um i only want a steady stream of things coming in i don't want to be overloaded uh with uh with millions of of orders and such um but anyway um that's going to do me for tonight and um we'll see what we can get up to tomorrow well this is friday's orders <laughs> um you know it's it's been a quiet week uh, all week and it isn't getting any better. So excuse me for laughing, but um, uh, this is the only order that's uh, come in overnight. And uh, I need to go and uh, drop this off at the depot this morning. Uh, I've got a, uh, an appointment just after that as well. So that's going to limit um, uh, what we get done today. And um, I need to think about what I'm going to do next in terms of uh uploading um or whatever to uh try and generate some some sales somewhere um i'm thinking uh possibly it's time to do another batch of clocks uh get these uh listed up uh, on ebay and uh maybe see if some of those go the last lot went really quickly on those these ones uh uh slightly less uh rare and uh equally won't uh have as much value um there is um a few new sets uh that i could potentially part out as well so um i have a look at that possibly but i'm so limited on space at the moment and um i'm also um you know it being friday don't want to end up with uh, stuff left over all over the weekend so uh we'll see what we get to anyway Thank you.